Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good and welcome to this video. Um, this video is not in my list and it's not a normal one. Um, this is a, this is kind of a troubleshooting video. So one of the user um, asked me a question that he had some problems. So I just want to try that out here um, and see um, how we can troubleshoot that or how we can basically rename a Kubernetes uh, node. So what he did was uh, he followed my tutorial, he um, set up the Kubernetes cluster with three nodes. Um, once the cluster is up and working, he tried renaming one of the machines and then uh, the node became offline so he can't connect the node back to the cluster. So that's what I'm going to try in this video, um, how we can rename a node um, uh, and so on. So as usual, I'm going to bring up a brand new cluster with three nodes, cd to play directory, and I'm going to git clone my Kubernetes repository, cd to Kubernetes and to Vagrant provisioning, and do Vagrant app. So this is going to set up a three node uh, cluster, one master node, two worker nodes. Um, all of them are running CentOS uh, 7 uh, in a virtual machine. So once this um, the cluster is up, I'll show you um, what he exactly did and how we can uh, do it. I'm going to pause the video now and come back when it's ready. Right, Wagrant has provisioned uh, the Kubernetes cluster. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the Kubernetes configuration to my host machine so that I can run the kubectl command directly from my host machine to interact with the Kubernetes cluster make directory.cube and I'm going to copy the configuration file okay we are good and if I do kubectl cluster info uh, that's up kubectl get nodes so we've got three nodes one master node and two worker nodes kubectl version minus minus short Okay, so we are on version 113. Okay, let's try a um, few things now. Okay, so as you saw, we've got three nodes. Let me log into one of the node. SSH root at k worker one, for example. Okay, I've logged into that node. If you see, my host name is kworker one dot example dot com. Okay, so. Before doing anything, I'm going to start uh, um, a deployment. So kubectl run uh, nginx minus minus image nginx replicas2. Okay, so it has created the nginx deployment. kubectl um, get all minus o wide. So as you can see here, um, uh, the Nginx deployment has created a couple of pods, one on each node, kworker1 and kworker2, and the container is getting created at the moment. Okay, so um, the pods are running now. So what um, he has done is um, basically the nodes have joined the cluster, and now if you change the host name, Hostname CTL set hostname to, for example, kubeworker one dot example dot com and do a reboot. And let's check the status of our notes. Get notes. It's still in the ready status, but it will change to not ready because we have changed the host name. Let's check the status of the pods. Um, it's still running. It shouldn't be running technically, but it's um, running. kubectl get notes. Okay, let's try to log in again. So before doing that, what I'm going to do is, um, since I've changed the name of my one of the worker nodes, on my host machine, I'm going to edit the etc host file and change the k worker to cube worker one. Cube worker one. Okay, and uh, I'm going to log into kmaster and do the same thing. etc hosts, and I'm going to change the kworker to 
cube worker cube worker okay I'll exit out of it cube CTL get nodes now we can see K worker one the status is not ready basically this was the situation that that the viewer was in so he joined the nodes and everything and then he, then he renamed uh, one of his node and he restarted the node um, and uh, Kubernetes doesn't know about this new node since he changed the name. Okay, let's look at the status of the pods. Get pods minus O wide. Um, it says it's still running. Okay, kubectl, let's delete the deployment. Okay, kubectl get all minus O wide. Uh, it's getting terminated, but I don't think it's going to work uh, because we don't have K worker at the moment. kubectl get all minus O wide. Okay, don't worry about it. If I log into uh, the new machine, the renamed machine K worker one. Okay, so I'm on my new machine. If I do hostname, I'm kubeworker1. And if I check the status of the kubelet service, journal ctl minus minus units equals kubelet. And if I go to the bottom, it says error connecting. So node kubeworker1.example.com not found. So basically, um, it's not running anything. System CTL status kubelet. It says it's running, but it's constantly trying to connect to the cluster uh, and join the node kubeworker1.example.com. But it's not found. Uh, kubectl get nodes. So kworker1 is not ready at the moment. Okay. So how would you go about uh, fixing this? kubectl get nodes. Uh, the proper way would be to, if you want to rename a node, first you need to drain the node and then you have to um, wait for the pods, all the running pods on that node to finish um, or evicted and then you can change the node. Okay, so uh, we've updated the etc host file. So how to fix this one? Um, the, unfortunately, you can't just rename a node. If you try to edit this node, kubectl edit node kworker1.example.com and if you try to change wherever it is, say for example here it's kworker1 and you've got kworker1 here and if you try to change all these, it won't work. Um, let me try to change it. Yes, I'm going to change all kworker1 dot example k worker one to cube worker one okay so that's changed if I save it you will get an error and if you do cube CTL get nodes it's still k worker one which is not uh, in the ready state the thing to do is unfortunately you have to delete this node and rejoin the node okay let's delete it first cube CTL delete node kworker1.example.com kubectl get nodes so that's gone and in here uh, what you have to do is kubeadm reset it's asking for a confirmation type y and press enter so the cluster configuration has been reset so now we need to join this node kubeworker1 back to the cluster so how would you do that I'm going to log into the K master and I'm going to run kubeadm token create minus minus print join command so that's the command you need to run on your node so if I run that command okay so that's done I'm going to exit out of that I'm going to exit out of the K master. If I do kubectl get nodes, you've got cube worker one in the not ready state. I think it's uh, uh, deploying the uh, uh, the parts at the moment, so it should be in the ready state shortly. 
Okay, so now it's in the ready state. Cube CTL get nodes. So we've got cube worker one. Basically, we've uh, renamed the host and then deleted the node configuration, node object, and then rejoined the node to the cluster. Okay, let me run that deployment again. Cube CTL run nginx deployment replicas to two. Okay, cube CTL get all minus O wide. As you can see here, two pods, one running on K worker two, the other one running on K worker one. Okay, so I'm gonna um, try one new thing now. So what I have done now is um, renamed a machine and deleted it from the cluster and rejoined it to the cluster. Uh, the other thing you could do is um, instead of renaming your machine, you can keep your machine with the same name. So I'm gonna try that on K worker two. You can have the machine name as K worker two, but you can register as a different name in the Kubernetes cluster. Um, if I show you an example, it will make a better sense. If I log into root at K worker two, cube admin, that's the password. Okay, so I'm in here. Um, what I'm going to do is the proper way to do is if you want to do any uh, maintenance work you just need to make sure that no parts are running on on the node so if I say kubectl drain um, I'm gonna drain kworker2.example.com because I'm going to do some maintenance work on that particular node so I want to drain that node if you drain it it will put that node in in a state um, so that no pods will get scheduled to that node and the pods that are already running on this node will get uh, terminated. Unable to drain node K worker aborting command. Okay, so why it can't drain? So apart from the Nginx pod that's running on this uh, node K worker 2, there are also Kubernetes related pods like kube proxy, uh, flannel for networking and all those things. So as it says, you have to use this option minus minus ignore daemon sets. So we are not concerned about the daemon sets. kubectl drain minus minus ignore daemon sets. Okay. So now it's going to reschedule the pod that, that was originally running on this machine to a new machine. Um, so as you can see here, the pod is evicted. If I do kubectl get all minus o wide, you can see here the pod that was running on k worker 2 was evicted and a new pod started on cube worker 1. So now k worker 2 is free of any pods so we can uh, do the maintenance work on k worker 2. I'm not going to rename this machine, I'm just going to register this machine with a different name in the Kubernetes cluster. So still uh, the host name is the same, kworker2. Um, what I'm going to do now is systemctl stop, um, but before that let me do kubeadm reset, confirmation yes, and I'm going to edit a file vietc systemd system kubelet.d, kubelet-service.d, 10 kubeadm.conf. In this file, if I go to the bottom and add this particular flag, minus minus hostname override equals the hostname you want, kubeworker2.example.com. Save this, you got to run system ctl daemon reload and if I do kubeadm reset, confirm yes, and you have to um, join the node again. So let me check the status of the nodes. Okay, so when you do kubectl drain, it puts the kworker2 in a state, scheduling disabled, so no pods will get scheduled, and it's in the not ready state because we um, reset the uh, cluster configuration on kworker2. Okay, so now if I, um, I have to join this node to the cluster. So that's the same command that I uh, obtained from the kmaster. Okay, it's joining the cluster. 
don't worry about the last error cannot modify the node k worker to I'm gonna exit out of it so back in here if I do kubectl get notes you can see this one cube worker 2.example.com and it's in the ready state so we don't care about the k worker 2 so let's go ahead and delete it kubectl delete node k worker 2.example dot com that's deleted kubectl get nodes so we have got the cube worker 2 bear in mind cube worker 1 is the actual host name where we change the host name of the machine cube worker 2 is just the name of the cube worker uh, node object um, we haven't changed the host name but we just registered uh, that node as a different name as cube worker 2 but still the host uh, host name is K worker two. Okay, so if I do kubectl get all, um, both the parts are running on cube worker one, and let me scale this deployment. kubectl scale deploy nginx minus minus replicas. If I scale it to three, and if I run that command again. The container is getting created and this time it has created it on cube worker 2. Okay, so let's look at the uh, the node configuration. kubectl describe node cube worker 2.example.com pipe that to less. Um, what I'm trying to see here is the host name. Host name is cube worker 2 dot example dot com uh, name is cube worker 2 so as far as the cluster is concerned the node k worker 2 registered itself as cube worker 2 so that's the other way of doing it unfortunately you won't be able to rename your existing node easily you have to delete it from the cluster and you have to rejoin it okay cube ctl get all minus o wide I'm going to delete them kubectl delete deploy nginx deployment deleted kubectl get all okay they are getting deleted right I think um, that's it for this video this is not a, a video in my to-do list but um, it just came up uh, as I was answering uh, to one of the viewers comment so if you've got any questions on any videos um, I'll try to explain it in the comment section but if it's uh, if it's of use to everyone I'll just make a video like this one okay um, that's it for this video thanks for your time watching this video today and today is the last day of 2018 I wanted to wish all my viewers a happy new year and um, if you've got any questions or any comments just uh, drop me a comment I should be able to respond to you and um, um, if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and there are lots more um, Kubernetes related videos um, uh, are going to come okay thank you and see you in my next video bye bye